Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. When the Bible said that the heart of man is desperately wicked and hard to search, the word of God could not have been more true. The Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, has alleged that Mr. Peter Uwanchiku, husband of the late singer Usinachi Uwanchiku, did not stop at beating his wife. He also locked her outside the house sometimes. Talen, who spoke at a WordPress conference organized by Women Radio 91.7 FM and Nigerian Women Trust Fund, said that the late singer was the breadwinner of her family. Also speaking on another program, the minister said according to the children, late Osinachi did not have a bank account and that her husband takes all the proceeds of her sweat. She also said that Mr. Nwanchiku made sure he cut his wife off from her immediate family members so that he could abuse her, while he also deprives her from enjoying the fruits of her hard work. The minister said, when she sings, the man collects her royalties, but she goes out and comes back begging on her knees. At times, she sleeps in uncompleted building. This is horrible. The woman who said women in abusive marriages must speak out said women must come out and speak. All men and women of conscience should always come out and speak. We call on neighbors where this act has been perpetrated to come out and speak. It is so sad that so many women are living in abusive marriage but are afraid to leave just because of what the society will say. The minister who met with Osinachi's children on Tuesday at their Abuja residence said women who are abused must speak up and get help. <laughs> 